Hello, my name is Kristen Weed with Kent Island Beach Cleanups, and I'm here with Commissioner Jack Wilson. And we are here today to discuss with you the findings from this past Saturday's International Coastal Cleanup via the Ocean Conservancy. Now, before I get into our findings and all of our data, I just want to make mention that Jack here has been a wonderful supporter of my organization. He and his wife have been a volunteer for about a year and a half, and I just want to thank him so much much for all of his support and um, Jack do you want to say anything? Sure. It's, uh, what I'd like to say is on behalf of the commissioners and, and the rest of the county citizens thank you for everything you've done for the county to help clean up the beaches. I know this year I've gotten uh, several calls and comments about how good Terrapin looks and, and the narrows when we can keep it clean and uh, as, as a matter of fact at the commission meeting we had a discussion about uh, maybe putting up some fencing to keep people up off of the embankment where a lot of the trash has been gathering up mm -hmm. on the Kent Narrows. So we're going to work on some other stuff, uh, some signage and things like that are coming out. And uh, I just want to give you a big shout out for the Conservancy, 136 volunteers, uh, 3,000 pounds of trash. That's a good day. So That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so like Jack said, um, this particular cleanup is really interesting because we record every piece of trash that we pick up. So this past Saturday, it was absolutely amazing. We had 130 36 volunteers that came out on a beautiful Saturday, so I want to thank all of them. Um, and not just 3,000, a little over 3,000 pounds of trash, but we actually had a little over 13,000 pieces of garbage. And the car engine has been picked up, just <laughs> yes. so you know that. Yeah. <laughs> yes, and we record weird finds. We found a car engine. Uh, we also found other parts of a vehicle. Um, but we, we record everything. So this is from cigarette butts to plastic candy wrappers to plastic bottles, beer cans, beer bottles, um, any type of trash, you know, you name it, we pick it up. Uh, one thing was uh, we actually had 28% uh, of our main garbage was cigarette butts. And then we also collect small bits of trash, which are like plastic, glass, and uh, foam, which are the most damaging to our ecosystem. And we had about 50% of those small trash with, was plastic. Uh, one other thing I want to do is thank the people that came out. We had specific groups and organizations come out. Uh, so we had the Chesapeake College men's basketball team and their coaching staff, and they all came out to Terrapin which was awesome, so thank you. We also had Ken Island Girl Scouts, uh, Boy Scout Troop 495, members and volunteers of Chesapeake Bay Environmental Center, uh, Stevensville Middle School teachers and, and um, staff and students, Ken Island High School. Um, we had an amazing group of people. And one, per one person I really want to thank is um, Christina Mose. She is a teacher at Archbishop Spalding High School. She has been a supporter of mine for about four years now going on as, as long as my organization has been in existence and she brought all of her students as well out uh, to Roman Coke, Kent Narrows and Terrapin so I want to give a big shout out to her for coming all the way over to the Eastern Shore on a beautiful Saturday fighting that traffic. So, um, now, now Kristen, why don't we tell everybody um, what does the ICC use the information and the data they gather? What is that? What, what are they doing with that after the cleanup? Well, the data is really important because uh, it helps with policy solutions uh, to fight for uh, better policy policy solutions and it also helps to identify specific trash issues that may occur at certain sites. So that also helps me to go to people like you and say, hey, you know, here's a problem at this specific site. Here's the raw data to support it. What can we do to change it? And what's great is that's just on our local level, but the Ocean Conservancy uses that on a state level and even a national level with the same thing with policy solutions. So and we have one more cleanup, right? One more cleanup, and it's actually the same day as the Chesapeake Bay Wine Festival, so it's going to be a quick and short cleanup because um, <laughs> it's right in the same area. Um, my husband and I were talking about maybe postponing it and doing it the next day, but we don't have any plans to do that at this point right now. Um, October 3rd, right? Yeah, it's October 3rd, Saturday, October 3rd at Kent Narrows, and we're just really excited for a, an amazing 2016 season where we're going to have even more dedicated volunteers uh, with hopes to expand as well. So, Fantastic. yep. Look forward to seeing everybody there on the third then. Awesome. Thanks, Jack. Thank you.